And today we're exploring the science of sound by making our own musical instruments. So today we're going to make two things. We're going to make a xylophone and we're going to make our own harmonica with um, upcycled projects and products and things that you can find around your house. All right. Okay, let's go over our um, all the materials that we need for our steam lab today. All right, so for the xylophone, we're going to need three paper towel rolls. Um, I've already decorated mine. You don't have to decorate yours, but I kind of decorated my markers. So three paper towel rolls and two toilet paper rolls. Um, let me point my camera down so you can see more of what I have. Then the markers, if you want to decorate your um, paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls, you can have markers on hand, or you can do it after, too. You'll need a bunch of rubber bands, 25, 27 rubber bands for the xylophone. Um, also for the xylophone, if you would like, this is optional, but some yarn. After we make it, we can, we're going to make a yarn loop so that you can tie it around your neck and play it on your chest or just carry it around with you. Um, so yarn. And then for our harmonica that we are making today, we're going to need two tongue depressors, wooden tongue depressors, two of those, a straw, uh, one of these larger rubber bands, it's a thicker one, and then two regular rubber bands. That's part of our pile of many rubber bands today. Um, and washi tape, this is optional. If you want to decorate your harmonica with washi tape, you can do that, little cute tape. Or you can also decorate it with markers, but wait until it dries until you put it on your mouth, okay? And then of course we'll need some scissors to cut the um, paper towel rolls. And all right, that is it. So exciting, right? Okay, so we're gonna since we're making two instruments, let's start with our um, xylophone today. So I'm gonna move everything I need for the harmonica out of the way since we're doing that later. Okay, so we've got our three paper towel rolls. The first one that you want to be um, the end, we're going to do, it's going to be five paper towel rolls, but the first one we don't cut at all, we leave it very long. Okay, so we're going to leave that one. The second one, we want to make it a little bit shorter than the first one, so we'll cut about an inch and a half off or so. Um, I didn't um, you don't need a ruler for this because I just kind of was like, whatever you feel you want to cut off. So you can also use a marker to mark it. So maybe like that much. That's probably an inch and a half. I'll mark it with a little whoop. And then we'll trim it off. So right where I made that mark, I'm going to just cut that part off. My dad goes flying. And now... Oh, you don't want to cut a little bit more off. So maybe cut two inches off. You just want it to look smaller, noticeably shorter than the long one. And it's going to get shorter and shorter as we go on. Okay, so now I have this one, my green dot one. I'm going to take the, my purple dash one and make it smaller than this one. So probably right about there it across. Oof, you gotta really have strong wrists for this to cut through the cardboard. So that looks a little shorter. The purple looks a little shorter than the green. I think I'm going to trim it a little bit more. How does that look? That looks good. Okay, so I'm done with the green. I want to go even smaller. We've got the paper towel roll. The paper towel roll, this one we don't have to cut because it's a good size. It's um, a lot smaller than the purple one. But the very last one, we want to cut the orange paper towel with the waves on it smaller than the green one with the zigzags on it. 
so we'll cut it. We want to make this this orange one with the waves on it is going to be our smallest roll out of all the rolls on our xylophone. Tubes. They're tubes, right? So there. There we go. I'm going to trim it a little bit more. There. Looks good. This green one's bigger. Orange one's tiny. Um, let me jump to see if there's any comments. I don't see any comments. Okay. All right. So it should look like this. You've got all your pieces. We've got a really long red one with swirls, the green polka dot next, the purple dash, the green zigzag, and then the orange waves. All right. Okay, this next step is the fun part. We're going to put it together using our mini rubber bands. Okay, so we take one rubber band, a regular rubber band, and we put it over the tube like that. We need another one and put it over the tube again. Kind of move them to the center a little bit. And we're going to take the rubber band and do a twist like that. See that? So the rubber band has like an X in the middle. We're going to slide, you know, we'll take the other rubber band off for now. So twist it and then we're going to slide the other tube in. So slide the other tube in like that. So they're connected with the rubber band, it's twisted. And you'll have to hold on to it because it wants to spin. So hold on to it. And then we'll put the other rubber band. Don't put my thing down. The other rubber band on. Twist it around. Oh my god, it's so close. It's a little tricky, but you'll get used to it. is a better way of doing it you might find a better way of doing it than I'm doing it that's the cool thing about science is we all kind of find different ways of doing things you know I'm going to trim this again I want it to be a little bit shorter okay cool so it looks like that all right now we're going to add the next one the next tube on So the rubber band now is going to go on the green, the one that we just put on. We twist that and slide it in. Slide the purple one on. Grab another rubber band. Put it on the green one. Twist and slide it in. All right. And friends who have joined me for Steam Lab today, I'm not seeing any comments. So if you want to, you know, if you have any questions, if you want to do a shout out, if you want me to do a shout out, go ahead and put that in. I don't see anything, but thank you. For, I can, I know that there's some friends who are watching. So thank you for watching. All right. So we have three on. Now we're going to put the next one on. And then remember our, our little tiny one? It's the purple one. I'm sorry, the orange one. Okay. So we need another rubber band. Slide it over. Do a twist. And get that one on. And you're going to... You might need a grown-up's help for this. It's kind of tricky to get, get these rubber bands on. It's fun to stretch them. And they make a cool sound when you're stretching them. All right. There we go. Okay, well, now that's all that's left is our little tiny one. Our last shortest tube of all. 
Okay, so we're going to slide it on, twist it, and take another one, slide it on, twist it, do a twist, and sorry. sometimes this little guy wants to spin around. <laughs> All right, there we go. Cool. Awesome. So now we have our xylophone. Um, we take our yarn. You don't have to do this. This is optional. Coat some yarn off. If you would like to wear it around your neck and walk around the house outside and play your xylophone, that you could do that. That's up to you. And then we're just going to tie it on the top. Tie it on the rubber band. Attach it to the rubber band. Top. Alright. Oops. Okay. And now we have our xylophone. Oh, so cool. So, what we're going to do is play it now. Um, if you have a spoon at home or a pencil or a pen, I'm going to use my marker. We're going to play our xylophone and we're going to listen to the sound that comes out of the tubes. All right? Sound. Sound is the type of energy made by vibrations. And what is a vibration? Vibration is a back and forth motion. Um, so the sounds that are going through the tube, um, the sound is vibrating as it's going through the tube. So let's listen. Do you notice something? When you hit the big tube, what kind of sound it makes. And then once you get go all the way down to the smallest tube, what kind of sound does that make? You can even put it on the table and play if you want to. Hold it up if we were doing. My little one's falling off a little bit. So when you tap the xylophone, you're noticing different lengths make different sounds, right? Um, the big one makes kind of like a lower sound, so the longer tube vibrates at a lower frequency so the pitch is lower, the sound is lower, and the longer, the shorter tube vibrates at a lower frequency, higher, the smaller one vibrates at a higher frequency so it makes a high pitch sound. That one's really low, right? Very cool. So the pitch is pitch is just a higher or lower sound. High pitch is like hi. Low pitch is like low. Right. Now let's do something really cool. This part is so fun. We're gonna take our ear and hold our ear up to the tube, and um, we're going to listen and to the sounds around us. This is good if you're in kind of a noisy place. I'm in the library. It's kind of quiet, but. Um, if there's like cars going by or dogs barking, like that's kind of good so you can hear sounds. But let's see, put your ear up on the longest one and listen to the sounds around you. And then put your ear up to the next one. And the next one. And the next one, and the smallest one. 
So each tube has a different length, and so the frequencies that are coming through, the, the vibrations, are all different, right? So when you put your ear on the longest tube, we're hearing the lowest frequencies. And then when we put our ear on the highest, smallest one, we hear the high ones. Isn't that cool how different it sounds? Based on the length of the tube and the vibration coming through. And if you take the tube away from your ear just a little bit, how do the sounds change? If you just move it away a little bit, and then all the way, what happens to the sound? What happens if you take the tube and then cover the end with one hand? What happens? What does it sound like? Did we stop the frequency from coming through? The sound from coming through? What does it sound like then? So fun. So you just made your own musical instrument xylophone and cool way to listen to sounds in different frequencies. Play it again. Try making a percussion instrument at home with different materials. You can make one using an empty oatmeal container, cardboard container, maybe a coffee tin. Um, you can make one using a cardboard box. Maybe you can have three different sizes of cardboard boxes and um, see what sounds they make. Um, you can also use a tin can. If you have any canned goods that you have finished and you wash them out, you can use a tin can see how different sizes and see how those sound all right cool all right awesome um, I know this is a little bit difficult to make but if you have a grown-ups help do it a couple times I'll get used to it it's just the crisscross of the rubber band that's a little tricky and sliding it through so all right now we're ready to make our harmonica this one is super fun okay so we've got our two tongue depressors and I'm going to decorate mine with some washi tape because I haven't done that yet. So I've got some washi tape right here. This washi tape has fruit on it and animals. So I'm just going to take a long strip. I'm gonna cut with my scissors so it works better. Alright. Cool. And then I'm gonna do it to the other side also. There's a little extra. I'm going to trim that off. Okie dokie, we're ready. We've got our two decorated tongue depressors and we're going to make our um, harmonica. We need two regular rubber bands. One two and we need a wide one of these wide rubber bands i believe they're number 64 is what they're called okay and then we need a straw and then i believe that's it that's it wow. okay scissors to cut our straw i knew i was missing something all right so we'll take our tongue depressor one of our tongue depressors. And we're going to take our thick rubber band and we're going to wrap it around lengthwise like this. Make sure it's nice in the middle, nice and centered. One's not really centered too good. All right. 
So it looks like that. And then we're going to take our straw and we're going to cut a piece off about yay long, not too long. Whoa! That one flew off. I'm going to cut another one. Okay. So about, I don't know, that might be two inches, two inches long, an inch and a half. Just enough so that um, you can move it around with your hands so that some is sticking outside of the tongue depressor. So, because we're going to move the straw around. Okay. So we're going to take one straw and we're going to put it underneath the rubber band like that. That one's hanging out underneath the rubber band and the other one is just going to sit on top. So one's under and one is over. All right. But we're going to take the one that's over and set it down for a minute because we have to put the other tongue depressor on top. It's like making a sandwich. We're making a straw and rubber band sandwich. So take the other one and put it on top. And on the end, we're going to put our rubber band right there. So we're going to take your rubber band and wrap it, the regular rubber band, and wrap it a couple times. Not too tight, but just enough so it's secured in place. Okay. So it should look like that. And the rubber band's kind of sandwiched in there. And then we'll take our other, the one that goes on top, and we're just going to slide it in since it's on top of the rubber band. And then we'll put the other tie up the other end with the rubber band. So it looks like that. So this one's over the rubber band and this one's under. I don't know if you can see it from the, with the camera. And then we can easily slide them back and forth. Alright, that's it. You made your own harmonica. And the next thing to do is we're going to blow through it. Okay, so keep the, let's, let's start with the straws kind of wide, far apart. We'll go through it. Okay. Okay, ready? All right. Whoa! What a cool sound that came out of our harmonica. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to change the sound, the tone, by moving the straws. So go ahead and move them closer together. What? Did you notice something? Did that sound different? It did. Let's move it back. Wow. Sound coming through there. We talked about sound being a type of energy that's made by vibration. So that rubber band in there, it's vibrating when you blow through it with, your, with the air coming out of your mouth. So we hear that sound from the vibrations, right? And then when we have our rubber bands pulled all the way back, the string vibrates and it's long. Then we push the with a sound when it's long, what kind of sound does it make? A lower sound, right? And then 
Oh, that sound changed because the air coming through my lungs slowed down. <laughs> you could do that too. And then we're going to push the, when we push the straws together, the length of the string, well, it's a rubber band, but it's kind of like our string. Like if we're playing violin, the string, when the string is uh, shorter, it makes a higher sound, right? So the higher string, the higher um, rubber band, it vibrates faster. That's why it makes that high sound. When we pull it back, the rubber band vibrates slower, so it makes a lower sound. Put it closer together, close enough we can fit our mouth in there. But we can move the straws so that they're not poking you. These straws are kind of long. You can sh you can cut them if you want to. Let me see if I can move them even closer together. Whoa! That was really high. Very cool. So you can experiment at home and see what kind of sounds you get. You can make more. Um, and play around with the sound. I love the harmonica. That's my favorite, one of my favorite instruments. Um, you can wear your xylophone at home. You can wear your harmonica and be a walking band um, and fill your whole house with sound. Um, isn't sound cool? We've learned all about the pitch, the low pitch and the high pitch and the vibrations of strings and what kind of sound that makes. Thanks for joining me today for Steam Lab Saturday. Um, I had so much fun making our instruments with you. I hope you have fun playing with them. In the next next month in um, June, we have we are going to make ocean zones in a jar. Did you know the ocean is divided into five different zones? <gasps> it is, and we're going to make different ocean zones in a jar. And we'll talk about the animal, the living things that live in each of the different five ocean zones. So um, come back next month in June for another STEAM Lab Saturday. Thank you so much for being with me and have a wonderful day. See you next time.